Okay, everyone. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to print um, words to the screen in Python. So if you don't know what printing is, printing is really just writing words to the screen. Now this doesn't mean that we're going to be making a window that like writes words. What this will actually do is print it out to the console or whatever they're using to run Python. In this example, we're using idle, so our words will appear live in this uh, screen, which is showing us a Python terminal or Python, yeah, Python shell for uh, Python 3.3.1. So to do this, it's really simple in Python. There's just very slight differences between this print and uh, the print in my Python 2.7 videos. If you want to print out the words hello world, you would do print left parenthesis quotation and then something like uh, yeah hello world and then close that off with another quotation and a right parenthesis and when we press enter it now says hello world now if we go back to right where we pressed the uh, left parenthesis you'll see that it gives us kind of a syntax value blah blah sep and file and things like that and now that's kind of something interesting this will allow us to actually th the whole difference between 3.x and 2.7 is the print function is now a function instead of just a keyword and we can actually set these uh, to different things we can say instead of the file sys dot uh, standard out we can say sys dot standard error or an actual file also something interesting is we could say flush equals true so if we say hello world and then comma flush equals true um, it'll still print out the word but in a live console I, I forgot idle is kind of stupid um, it will flush out anything that uh, is like still in there anything that's in the standard out however that doesn't work with uh, idle because idle is idle special let's just go with that it's not like uh, using command prompt um, but it's easier to teach in anyways the point is you can actually set those uh, values yourself and it makes printing a little bit easier some other things we can go over with print is that instead of using double quotations you can also use single quotations or like an apostrophe and say hello comma world and now you may be saying well what's the use of that why is there two ways to do it well in a lot of other programming languages there isn't two ways to uh, print out a string it's just double quotes but with python it does um, you can use both of them and it does have like uh, an advantage to it we can say print left parenthesis single quote bob said double quote hello not hello. Hello. Oops, my bad. Double quote. Hello, Jim. And then period apostrophe or single quote. Right parenthesis. And we get Bob said hello, Jim in quotations. Now you can't just do that with um by using double quotations for a few reasons and we can actually simulate what would happen. you get syn uh, syntax error invalid syntax because the everything in between single or double quotes is the actual string so when it sees a double quote it thinks that's where you're ending the string in which case hello is then not actually a word that it recognizes it's not seeing it as a word it's seeing it as a, um, a variable which if you don't know what a variable is that's fine we'll go over those later but basically it's seeing it as something that should have a value assigned to it but there isn't so it just raises a syntax error and like you see with the apostrophes um, you can use double quotations in that situation because the uh, single quotes are the start and end of the string instead of the double quotes 
Now, if you come from another language and you prefer to use double quotes for everything, uh, then you probably already know that you can do double quotes and then basically the same thing Bob said. And then if you want a double quote to show up while using double quotes in your print function, you can do backslash double quote hello comma Jim backslash double quote period double quote right parenthesis. If you don't um, know exactly what that means, the backslash is what is called an escape character. And that allows us to basically change the way that Python is reading a character. So instead of seeing the double quotation as an end string, it sees it as an actual character that is in the string. There are some other ones that I can go over right now without digressing too much. When we type in print left parenthesis, you see right here where it says end backslash n. A backslash n is actually the value for a new line. So if we were to do something like hello backslash n world, we would get those on two separate lines because the backslash n separates them and the backslash n sends the words after it to another line. Now, for some practice, what you guys can do is actually just experiment with this. Um, as well with double quotes, you or just like in double quotes, you can say something with single quotes inside of single quotes by doing basically the same thing. You can say that backslash apostrophe s cool period single quote right parenthesis and it'll come out that's cool so you can use the escape character on either one of those now something that you guys can do to practice printing is print out backslash c where the letter c is something else so basically do print backslash c like that and experiment with what c is equal to like x or we'll see you even get a weird error which means that maybe that is something and print backslash I don't know P and so forth and see what you get um, it's really interesting and you have 26 characters to mess with you also have numbers so and symbols who knows maybe those will also do other things and so experiment with those see what happens see what's different between like a backslash p and like a backslash per, uh, percent sign see if you can figure out why certain things are doing uh, certain things when they're printed out differently than when there's not backslash uh, in front of it if you like this video please like it subscribe if you want to see future videos and if you would l really like to help out you can press the uh, share button and share it or you can favorite it because that also helps my, uh, my videos get higher rating so more people can see them and if you are aware of what bitcoins are feel free to sell uh, not sell feel free to send me some bitcoins as a donation um, anything would help the address will be in the description and I think I'm going to start doing them all of my videos from this point on uh, if you don't know what a bitcoin is don't worry about it if you do that'll be awesome thank you and um, I'll be seeing you guys later thanks